So before you get started uh, with the seat base, I wanted to call out that you have rails that go on the sides of the bottom of the seat base, which are located here. You wanna make sure that those are at your sides facing towards the front. You don't want them to be at the front and the back of where you sit. This is gonna offer more support for you. Some other things I wanted to say, you don't have to put a C-clip um, onto every white disc. You only need them for where you're connecting a piece to. So if you're gonna connect a seat to a seat, you need a C-clip or back to a back or an arm to the seat base, but you're not gonna use every um, C-clip within a seat base. All right, so the first step that you wanna do is lay out your space. And so the way you do that is you just set out the seat boxes uh, where you want your sectional to be. And then from there, all you're doing is connecting the C-clips um, in the areas where you're gonna connect another piece to it. So whether you're connecting a seat to a seat or an arm to a seat or a back to a seat, uh, you wanna first start with attaching the C-clip uh, into the white discs that you see within the seat box. So the next step you're gonna do is just uh, set each seat base into the next piece. You can do that by just sliding the seat base over into the seat clip that you just put on. And then the next step, once you get all your seat bases connected, uh, what you're gonna do is take our J bracket you're gonna place it into the white discs that you see um, into the backs. So each back gets two. And once they're in place, what you're gonna do is set it over the seat base, line it up as best you can, and then drop into the seat base. And then kind of a final fit and finish, just pull the brackets down, and that's how you put it back on. You wanna make sure that when you set the back into the seat base that the sides are lined up uh, with the seat base. And if they're not, uh, just kind of remove the back from the seat base and line it up and then set it back into place. So the main feature with the corner back is this mitered corner. And what that allows you to do is create a back, then also line up with the backs that you just put in. So that's gonna allow you to turn the corner and create a sectional. Okay, so once you get all the backs on, what you're gonna do is put the arms on, and it works the same way uh, for the backs of the corner back. Uh, with the arms, you're gonna set it into the seat base. And again, you just wanna make sure that it is lined up, uh, the sides are lined up with the seat base. So if you set the pieces into place and they're not lined up, uh, it's not gonna be as easy to fix later on. Okay, so once you get the arms on, uh, the next step is going to be taking another C-clip. Uh, we use this for the seat base, but we're also gonna use it for our side-to-side -side connections. Uh, and so one of the places that's gonna be is where the corner back meets the back that it's next to, and then also where an arm meets the back. But you don't need it in these side-to-side -side connections. It's already strong enough without it. This is just for the corner and the arms. All right, so the next step is gonna to be to drop in our set-in suspension. And what you're looking at here is our patented blue steel spring suspension. It's what we put in all of our uh, soft seating furniture. Uh, these blue ribbons uh, is what makes the flex steel um, different, sets us apart from our competitors, uh, the durability and the legacy of our blue steel spring. And you get the experience of dropping that into uh, the sectional. So a couple other features on this, you have the two handles and then that front tag. So the front tag, like it says, you're gonna put it towards um, facing out and we can just drop one of these in.
All right, so the next step is gonna to be to place the seat cushions. Uh, main feature on the seat cushions is the zipper on the back, but also uh, this side flap here is gonna allow you to float pieces. So all you have to do here is put the zipper facing back and place into the sole. So all your back pillows are gonna be the same, except with the corner back, you're gonna get an angled back pillow. And what this allows you to do is have a nice, clean finished look up against the corner back. It allows you to create a sectional. And that's how you assemble Flex.